Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Russell here, and in my opinion, some of the most exciting things coming to the world in the next five years are going to be powered by Ethereum, the blockchain network that's driving the world's largest decentralized computer. Whether you want to access a fairer alternative to traditional banking through something like decentralized finance, or trade NFTs on marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible, or have access to decentralized apps or dApps on the Ethereum network, well you're going to need a both safe and convenient gateway to connect both you and your money to the network. And one of the most popular of these gateways or wallets is MetaMask. So in today's video we're going to walk you through how to install MetaMask for the very first time, how to add funds to this MetaMask wallet, how to use it in the safest and most secure way possible, and how you can connect it so you can access all of the different functions on the Ethereum network. Now the first thing you need to do if you want to install MetaMask is well to go to the MetaMask website. Make sure it's metamask.io. There's going to be a link in the description so you can find it easily here, but you're going to want to navigate to that page and click download. Now, depending on which browser you're in, this is going to take you to a different spot, um, but right now we're using Chrome and uh, MetaMask actually works as a Chrome extension. So it's going to be attached to your internet browser and this can work on multiple different internet browsers. If you're following along with me here on Chrome, you'll click install MetaMask for Chrome and it'll take you to the Chrome web store. And because I've already installed MetaMask, it just says here, remove from Chrome, but likely for you, it's going to say right here in this spot, add to Chrome or download extension. And once you do, it'll take you through those initial steps that it'll give it the MetaMask application, the proper permissions to be able to function as a part of your web browser. In the process of installing the extension, you're likely going to see a couple pages like this. You're going to want to click get started. You actually have the ability to import previous wallets, but for most new users, you're going to want to create a new wallet. So you'll click this button here and it'll take you to a page where it asks certain permissions and you can choose to agree to that. And then it's going to get to the section where you create a password for MetaMask. And then the most important thing that I want to emphasize here is the creation of a secret backup phrase or a seed phrase. Now, this is a, a series of different words that is going to be like the extra extra layer of backup for your MetaMask account. You're going to want to write down these individual words on a couple different sheets of paper and store them in different places, maybe one in your wallet, maybe one in a, a different a different location that, that you can access if you need to, because this will be the only way that you can get access to your MetaMask account if there's ever a prob problem where you lose access. You're also going to want to keep this seed phrase, this string of many different words, completely private because anyone with this seed phrase can gain access to your wallet and all of the funds on it. Now you may be prompted to restart your browser in order to get MetaMask to properly install, but once you relaunch your browser, you should notice an icon like this, um, the orange sort of Fox logo of MetaMask attached to your Google Chrome browser up in that top right hand corner. Now, if you don't see it there, there's a chance that it could not be pinned to the taskbar, in which case you'll click this sort of puzzle piece here and in extensions, you can choose which ones are pinned and here in MetaMask, you can see that mine is pinned. So once you do that, you're going to always have that icon there whenever you're using in whatever, whatever web browser you're on. Once you have the browser extension installed, well, your next step will be to create a new account or private address. Now, this is a very long string of uh, letters and numbers that will be unique to you that you're going to use every single time you either want to send or receive ETH or some other MetaMask compatible token. This might sound complex, but it's actually pretty simple. You're gonna to wanna to go to your browser and click on that MetaMask logo. Now, at the start, this might look a little bit different than yours because I already have some test accounts here to help with this tutorial, but uh, what you're going to want to do is click this icon right here, and then you're going to be able to create an account. Now, once you select create an account, you can give it a name. I'm going to do um, a test. I'll use this as a test account. That'll be the name from this new account, and you'll click create. And just like that, your new account with its private address, which is seen right here, that'll be created for you. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is fund this wallet with some ETH. Now, there are some native ways that you can do this right inside MetaMask, but I recommend using whatever cryptocurrency exchange you're most comfortable with currently, because you can ascend cryptocurrency from any other exchange that allows for withdrawals to this new MetaMask wallet. One of the exchanges I like to use is called Newton, especially because it's a Canadian exchange and I live 
in Canada. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to open up an account where you can get a $25 bonus if you don't already have an exchange you're comfortable with. But no matter what exchange you're using, well, you're going to be able to withdraw from that exchange and send it to your MetaMask wallet. Uh, you'll want to navigate to the portion of your exchange that has an ability to withdraw. And uh, when you click withdraw, at least here on Noon, you can click crypto to wallet because you're not going to actually sell off the cryptocurrency from your exchange. You're just going to transfer it over to your, your MetaMask wallet. So I'll click here, crypto to wallet. I'll enter the amount that I want to send. And, and no matter which exchange you're using, it's going to ask for a transfer address. Now, let me show you where you can find this. Inside of the MetaMask wallet, that, uh, that private address that we talked about before, right up here, well, you can actually just click this and it'll copy it to the clipboard um, where you can then paste it into this transfer address. Now, I'm not going to paste it in because then you'd see the address and I want, like to keep those private, but that's essentially how you'd be able to initiate that transfer from any other exchange. If you want to use MetaMask in the most secure way possible, which is something I definitely recommend, then you can actually use a function of MetaMask that allows you to connect it with a cold storage wallet like this, the Ledger Nano X. Now, this is what I personally do because it adds an additional layer of security because you're required to connect your device to your computer in order to gain access to the account on MetaMask because your individual device holds your private keys. Now, I've already made a video on the Ledger Nano X and you can check that out in the description along with a link there if you want to pick one up for yourself. But in order to link this with your MetaMask, well, there's it's actually rather easy to do. I think this is the best view for us so you can see it. Uh, and you can click right here and just like adding a new account the first time you did it or a new address there, you can click right here and you can click connect hardware wallet and it'll take you to a separate page where you can uh, you where you can connect this cold storage wallet to your MetaMask account. Now that you have your wallet all set up and funded, you can gain access to any of the amazing things on the Ethereum network. We talked about this before at the beginning of the video, but whether you need to uh, trade NFTs or you're an NFT collector, or if you want to access decentralized finance or DeFi, or you just want to check out any decentralized apps or dApps, you can now do so and you can connect your wallet to these various apps on the internet. Let me show you how. Now, just for example's sake, we're going to use Aave. This is essentially a place that you can lend and borrow a number of different tokens, but you can do research and there's tons of different projects that you might want to get involved in by connecting your wallet. Now, for Aave here, we're going to enter the app and then you'll notice here, I believe, once this opens for me, on the upper right hand corner on most of these websites that I've been on and most of these DeFi projects, well, there's a way that you can connect your wallet. You can see right here, um, it might be a little bit small for you, but it says connect. Now, if I click connect, it'll give me a number of options of different wallets that I may want to connect to this decentralized app. Now, the process for connecting may look a little bit different depending on which project you're connecting to, but for Aave, at least, you can see here that there's a browser wallet option and MetaMask is a browser wallet. So we're going to click that and then the MetaMask um, option will pop up here and you can select which account you want to connect. We'll, uh, we'll connect this account or this test account that we made before. We'll finish up and click connect here and then it'll show you, okay, now we've connected that address, that wallet to this project, which in this case is Aave. Now, this has just been a quick sample on how you can get that MetaMask wallet set up and the potential options you can have to connecting it to different projects that you want to be involved in or different dApps that you want to use. Now, I find this decentralized finance space one of the most interesting things I've come across over the past while. So over the next little while on this channel, I might be adding more and more content on how users and everyday people, especially everyday Canadians where, where I live, uh, can actually get access to this and why I think it's such a big deal. But with that said, let me know what you think about all this down there in the comments. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and let me know if I've missed anything or if I've gotten anything just a little bit not quite right. And as a quick reminder, there will be links in the description, both for the MetaMask download, as well as for Newton, that cryptocurrency exchange that I quite like to use, as well as a link to pick up the Ledger Nano X or Ledger Nano S, the cheaper version, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, if you click that, you should be able to get a discount and I'll get a little bit of a referral fee as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out those links. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching everybody. I really hope this video helped you out at least a little bit and I'll see you next time. channel is supported by viewers like you. Thanks channel members.